give you those pairs once again. And they'll probably be coming out in the pairs if we're lucky. 24 in, Luke Hewing and Dale McKenzie, 85 in. We've got 46 in and 18 in, Alex Bright. We've got 74 in and 6 in, Ben Taylor. Triple two, Rico Gray and Am McKenzie, 84 in. We've got Shane Harwood and Jacob Brownlee's paired up, 23C, 18 in. Kevin Clive, 4C, teamed up with the other Christchurch competitor, Damian Alley in the 8C car. Brett Nichols, 48 in, with Alex Hill, 95 in. And Jared Gray, Boris the King, 186 in, is teamed up with young Aaron Gray, 33 in. That is your best pairs of team tonight. And of course, the Nelson Tigers, it's the Palmerston North Path is not too far away, and on the 12th of December, the Nelson the Tigers make their return to the track against the Glen Eagles. The Canterbury Glen Eagles, of course, it is the McCall Trophy, one of the longest trophy, competitive trophy meetings in the country. And we look forward to seeing the Canterbury Glen Eagles do battle with the Tigers once again as we get Murray's water cut off the track very shortly. And as we said, good to see Boris getting that car running on all cylinders. He changed the Duracells out for a set of energizers. He thinks he's isolated the problem. The triple two car of Rico Gray out there. He must have got his medical clearance. Four seat car, Kevin Clive and Cross just had some good battles last weekend. The 18 car of Shane Harwood, stalwart of the Nelson Tigers. Alex Bright, 10 in. The wee fella doing great battle today. Of course, second in the uh, battle of the stocks last year with none other than the 58 car. The 2NZ car, uh, last year at the Battle of Stocks, the 24N car of Luke Kewing, new driver, two super stocks, getting used to it. And there we go, the tank commander, Blair Cunningham, did his job uh, last week against the Hawks Bay team and the stalwart of the Nelson Tigers. He does have Rico Gray and Ian Clayworth in behind him. There we go, back to Kevin Clive, Shane Harwood, Brett Nichols, the 85 car of Dale McKenzie. Did a lot of damage to that car to fix it. Ants in the 84 car. We'll call him Ants or Anthony. Doesn't want to be called Anton. I apologise for that, but good to see Ants back out there again. Didn't race in the team last week, but uh, good to see him put on the Tiger shirt. Damien Alley, car number eight, and at the back there, 33, the young Aaron Gray in the Cleve Coxshorn machine. And that car is for sale. And of course, the back there, high roll, the 186, Jared Gray. And we're off and racing heat number one of our super stocks. Brought to us by Nelson Auto Glass Specialists. And doing battle out the front, it is Ian Clayworth from Shane Harwood as they go three wide down the back straight. Big hit there on the 24 car of Luke Ewing. And the tri triple two car of Rico Gray out in front. Track a little bit lumpy as we see Brent Nichols get a little bit loose. Puts Dale McKenzie in. And spins it up to car number 84, but we'll get back out on the track very shortly. Down the back of the pack, it is a 95 car of Alex Hill, so these pairs turn them, sort themselves out. Rico Gray up near the pole as some of these cars, oh, a bit of smoke coming out of Ian Clayworth's car, the 94 car's got a bit of smoke, so hopefully nothing too major. Shane Harwood in the race lead from Luke Curing, doing great battle ants. Back out on the track this time round, the brand new Gorge chassis of Brett Nichols trying to do battle. Jared Gray gets a little bit loose with Rico, spins up Damien now he gets Caught in amongst that as well. Boris comes off, it looks like he's got a flat tyre. Yes, he has. He has got a flat tyre. 186, Jared Gray. And Rico gets himself out of that, as does Damien Alley. As we see, the big battle on here, two of the Tigers. It is the 18N, the Midwest engine of Shane Harwood versus the Harley engine. The Higgins chassis versus the Gould's chassis. And it is the Gould's chassis that leads the, leads the race now. It is the 48N of Brent Nichols. And young Josh Thomas will be happy with him leading this race. Said I'd mention Josh Thomas is a name guy, a re-race fan, not here tonight. Hopefully listening on the internet. As we see Shane Harwood hasn't gone away yet. Ian Clayworth, looks like that smoke's disappeared out of the car. Luke Curie's still going great guns in the 24 car, holding on the fourth spot. As these guys do battle along the back straight. Alex Bright coming through there as well. There we go to Aaron Gray, Blair Cunningham, Kevin Clive, 85 of Dale McKenzie. And then we go back to 6N of, of course that is, where are we, yep, Penn Taylor. But the battle going round, and it is Brent Nichols picked up the win for the Nelson Tigers last weekend, doing great guns in the brand new machine. Shane Harwood trying to catch him. Ian Clay with Luke Ewing in the third place. Here comes Alec Bright, 
Aaron Gray doing great guns as well. Kevin Clive, Noel McKenzie, Blair Cunningham, Ben Taylor. Here we go, Jacob Brownlee's out giving the tag from Christchurch. And here we go back to Ants McKenzie. The triple two of Rico Gray, the 95 car of Alex Hill. And the 186, Jared Gray, of course, he is battling a flat tyre. And then we've got Damien Alley, who's just doing a block job on Brett Nichols. This will open up the door for Shane Harwood. And I'm not too sure whether uh, Brett's going to hang around too much trying to stay behind Damien Alley. But there we go, Brett Nichols gets a hit from Blair Harwood. And Blair Harwood sneaks into the first spot. And it will be Brett Nichols will slip down into second. Aaron Gray up to third already on this new Midwest engine, the Coxshaw machine. Ex Kerry Humphreys, Terry Z. Firing car as we've gone through the chequered flag, and it will be a win to Shane Harwood. Well, to be honest with you, Brett Nichols left himself wide open. Shane took the opportunity, spun him up, and will take the race win. Brett will finish the second spot from Aaron Gray. Ian Clayworth holds on to fourth. Alex Bright, Luke Ewing, Kevin Clive, Noel McKenzie, Blair Cunningham, Ben Taylor, Jacob Brownies, Rico Gray, Alex Hill. Jared Gray, Damien Alley, and Anton McKenzie. Sorry, Ants McKenzie. Ants McKenzie, an 84 in car, one lap down. That is heat number one of our Superstock Best Pairs. We'll give you those updated points very shortly. Of course, the Superstock's brought to us by Nelson Auto Glass. And we'll get some confirmation as to what we're doing with the sidecars tonight. Hopefully, the track will smooth itself back out. There we go, the race went to Shane Harwood. Did the old wait to the last corner and spin him up. Very classic move and well executed from Shane Hall with the ITM sponsored machine. And he'll pick up the race win for his partner. Of course, his partner tonight is Jacob Brownlees, who finished down towards an 11th spot. Hi, I'm Scott Williamson, and welcome to X Factor Cars. Family owned and operated with two locations, Invercargill and Cromwell. Specialising in everything V8 from Holden Ford, HSV, FPV and with Southland's biggest selection of American muscle, we've got most bases covered. You only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. Get the X Factor. Best pairs teams races and I am unfortunate folks, they haven't given me the best pairs results. Um, I'll try and get some form of uh, adding up as these guys circulate and try and get back to you. Super Stocks are lined back up. We will get those results to you as soon as we can. And Nelson Auto Glass, especially Super Stocks, best pairs for tonight. And off the lead car is the 85 in car of Dale McKenzie. Outside of him is Alex Bright. Then we go back to Ants McKenzie with four sixes, Ben Taylor. 23, Jacob Brownlee. Then we go back to Damian Alley. 33 car of Aaron Gray. Inside of him, the 95 in car of Alex, Alex Hill. Then we go back to the 46 of Blair Cunningham. Outside of him, Luke Ewing. Then going back there, triple two of Rico Gray with Ian Clayworth. We go back to Kevin Clive and Shane Harwood. Then we got 186 Jared Gray and Brett Nichols off the back as they are about to go racing for eight number two. Super Stocks best pairs. Green flag is running. And Alex Bright and Dale McKenzie head off. Round turns one and two as they all find themselves around. Everyone keeping themselves straight at the moment. Down through the back straight, Ants McKenzie. Just drop back a few spots as Brett Nichols tangles with Ian Clayworth. And both cars are actually caught up. No, they find themselves off. Looks like Brett Nichols has a front, front flat right tyre. So that will put pay to Brent's race results today for this particular heat. Yes, he's got a flat tyre and it is sledging quite badly. So we'll wait and see what he does. If he goes too fast, they may put the red flag on if he's braced the crowd. Rest of the cars firing through. 
and it is the 85 car of Dale McKenzie leading him out from Alex Bright. Shane Harwood has made himself up the third spot in one lap as Brett Nichols does park up infield with that flat tyre and uh, probably a wise decision unfortunate for him tonight but he did do the bit damage against the Hawks Bay team last week. Jared Gray having a big hit with Rico Gray and Alex Hill in behind that so Jared Gray who got all messed up trying to fire it round he does and takes back off again and we see Ants McKenzie also having a big battle with the 24 car of Luke Ewing down the front straight so plenty of action happening 95 car of Alex Hill coming in the field Luke Ewing Park just with his nose on the track wait to see what the officials do here Rico Gray in Clayworth coming round and Dale McKenzie on the lead at the moment and he'll be looking at his brother Ants Shane Harwood in the second spot from Alex Bright go back to Damien Alley here we go back to Aaron Gray, Kevin Clive coming through there, Jacob Brownleys, Ben Taylor and Blair Cunningham in the tank, heading up through Ian Clayworth, Rico Gray, Ants McKenzie and then we go back to our lead cars, lap number 6 of 10 for our Superstock's best pairs, a couple of defections, the 48 car flat tyre, 95 pulled infield as these cars find themselves around the track, Alex Hill just pushing his way past the uh, king of Boris, Jared Gray, here comes the tank commander, Blair Cunningham, and the 24 car, Luke Ewing back out racing again, but at the moment there's the 85 car catching up to the back markers, you'll see his brother, Ance McKenzie, right in front of him, and Rico Gray, bit of dust from Aaron Gray, Luke Ewing doing battle as they come around Dixie Hill, dust flying, Ben Turner spins it up, out of turn three, into turn four, Noel McKenzie still holding on to race lead, Ance McKenzie just trying to get around Ian Clayworth, Fires himself round, here comes Shane Harwood, lap number nine, white flag out. And then coming through there, Alex Bright, Jared Gray, and Kevin Clive as they find themselves round. Plenty of action happening all over the place. Ian Clayworth coming through, but it is a race win to Dale McKenzie from the 18 car of Shane Harwood. Then we drop back half a lap to 10, Alex Bright. Then we go back to Kevin Clive, Damian Alley, Jacob Brownlee, Blair Cunningham. Then we go back to... Aaron Gray, Luke Ewing just coming across now, as does Ace McKenzie and Ian Clayworth and Rico Gray. So plenty of hap happening around the track from our Super Stock boys tonight. And the track gone to caution. So there we go, race win. Dale McKenzie head off into the sunset. Shane Harwood did absolutely magnificent from right at the back of the pack. And managed to make himself up in the third spot right from the word go. And I can tell you, 95 looks like he's got a flat outside right hand tyre as well. That's why he's pulled back in. So it is Alex Hill that's got a flat tyre as well. So those outside tyres certainly do make it difficult to keep around here. They can keep the little inside tyre deflated. That's not too much of a problem. There's not a lot of weight on that, but the outside does affect their steering. So, wise decision as the checkered flag goes out to Al McKenzie, who's done a fair bit of work in this car in the off week after sustaining a fair bit of damage in the team's race and last weekend, a whole lot of side rails and guides have been replaced on that machine of course it is a Higgins chassis and a great way to pick up a race win in this heat, we will try and get those uh, team's points for you, I'll go and get the whip out and sort out some points to try and get you guys sorted back out as our super stops head back in. At Mag and Turbo we're not just a mag wheel shop we're a supermarket for tyres Street, track or economy, we have a performance tyre to suit your driving and your budget. 17 inch tyres from $119, 18 inch tyres from $139 and 19 inch tyres from $179. When you buy tyres off us, you get one of these. Free tyre rotation, puncture repairs and alignment checks for the life of the tyres. If you need performance tyres, give us a call. 0800 MAGS for you. The Mighty V8 Super Stocks are back out on the track for their best pairs. We'll just go through the uh, points at the moment and we can tell you that on top at the moment is the 18 and 23 car on 48 points. We drop back 9 points back to car 24 and 85. Oh, sorry, no, 46 and 10 are on 44 points. Then we drop back to 24, 85 on 39. Then we drop back to 33 points, 74 and car 6. We go back to 30 points on car 186 and 33. And then 19 points for both triple 284 and 
48 and 95, and of course, 4 and 8 are on 37 points. So I'll wait and see what happens. Looks like they are off um, their pairs, so their pairs are up first. And it will be the 186 at 33 on 30 points, then 48, 95. And we've got Kevin Clive, Damien Alley. The ones to watch out for, the 18N car, the 23C car, Jacob Brownlees and Shane Harwood. Then we go to triple two, Rico Gray. And Rico's with the 84 car of Ants McKenzie. Back behind them, the 74 car of N Clayworth. And then beside N Clayworth is car number six, Ben Taylor. And then behind him, it must be the 46 car of Blair Lee, sorry, Blair Cunningham. And 10 of Alex Bright. And off the back will be car number 24, Luke Hewitt. And then we've got one missing as they fight themselves around turn one and two. So we'll see if there's a bit of a watch up there. Dole McKenzie getting all sorted out. There we go, Jacob Brownlee's getting surfed up. And Shane Harwood off the back as well. So two of the race leaders having great guns as these guys starting to fire up. Brett Nichols trying to get through. And we see Kevin Clive getting shoved on the front straight, courtesy of Luke Ewing. And behind him is Rico Gray as they fire themselves. So plenty of action happening through here. And it's a 186. Jared Gray out in the lead from the... Uh, Eight car off Damien Alley. Then we go back to 33, Aaron Gray. Alex Bright, 10 in from Ansh McKenzie, 74. As he pushes Ansh McKenzie out towards the wall. Our race leader's coming through. 18, Shane Harwood. 23, Jacob Brownlee's trying to protect their lead. Ian Clayworth having to go at uh, Blair Cunningham as well. So Ian Clayworth having that, using that front bumper. They're out in front at the moment. It is 186, Jared Gray, the Boris, the king of the coast. Leading them through from Damien Alley, car number eight, 33, Aaron Gray, the Coxshaw machine, Midwest Motors. This thing is absolutely flying, ex Kerry Humphreys machine. Here we go back to Brett Nichols, who's sledging a little bit. Down to Alex Bright, car number 10. Here we go back to Shane Harwood as Damien Alley does the big spin. A few of the cars taking evasive action. And as that all happens, Shane Harwood sneaks up a couple of spots. And Alex Bright and Brett Nichols, short back one as we see Aaron Gray heading through car 33, trying to go for the race lead off Jared Gray, so action of plenty happening as he squires counting down the laps, lap number five, and it is Jared Gray having a go on the back of Aaron Gray, so the two Grays is heading out in front, here comes Brett Nichols trying to get up those extra spots, as we see 85 Dale McKenzie coming through from Adam, Alex Bright, Damien Alley still up there as well, Ben Taylor coming through, Alex Hill, Jacob Brownlees, Rico Gray, Blair Cunningham, Luke Ewing, here we go back to Kevin Clove, he got spun up early on, Ants McKenzie, but out in the front, it is Jared Gray. He might pick up a second chicken flag in two race meetings. The young fella, ex mini stock driver, under the tutelage of Craig Booth, as we see Kevin Clive and Luke Ewing doing battle again. Aaron Gray avoids them as they fire through. Luke Ewing still hasn't started up yet. Jared Gray still heading on to second place. Here comes Shane Harwood coming through. Noel McKenzie, Damian Alley, Ian Clayworth, Brent Nickel just heading back down towards the back of the pack. Alex Bright just getting in the way as Alex Slott might be having a few issues, just fires it back up again. Luke Ewing back up and racing. Looks like Rico Gray's got a flat tyre, so that might be the end of his race tonight. As the rest of the cars fire themselves through. Plenty of action happening. Blair Cunningham just finding himself back through the control tower. And Luke Ewing about to be lapped by our race leader, Aaron Gray. Lap number 10, check a flag out for Aaron Gray from Shane Harwood. Then we go back to Jared Gray, whose tyres just let rip. And he'll still pick up third spot from Dole McKenzie. Damian Alley coming through in Playworth. Then we go back to Brent Nichols, Alex Bright, Ben Taylor, Jacob Bramley's. So not quite sure how that finished. Some very good points here from Aaron Gray. And mate, he is going great guns at the moment. I was just looking for his favourite song. I'm sexy and I know it. And I can't find it on this computer to actually play. If I could, I would. Because that is his theme song, I'm sexy and I know it. And I'm just seeing if I can play it here. No, I can't. But mate, the young gun going great, great up here. Next Christchurch competitor, he'll be absolutely ripped with that. That machine absolutely firing through the Midwest Motors. It is for sale, folks. If you want a championship winning car, this is the one. Now I don't want to get out of it. I'm sure he won't. If he can find the money to pay for it, I'm sure he would. But he's absolutely great guns. Give him a cheer, folks. Fantastic win, and we'll try and give the official points uh, towards the end of the meeting. There's only one more race to go. There will be prize giving in the pits afterwards. You're most welcome to come in and talk to these drivers after race meeting and stay for the prize giving as Jared Gray spinning tyre out everywhere. 
that right rear just managing to hold up to get into third spot in that particular race. And it's good to see the car firing on all cylinders this week. He's had his bugbear of troubles. He missed the uh, Tigers race, but he's back in there for the next one against Palmerston North. And here we go, folks. Young Aaron Gray, throwing great guns in the Coxshaw machine. It is for sale, as we said. I don't think he wants to get out of it in a hurry. But if you want a championship winning machine, there is one right there. And of course, nicely fresh in the Midwest engine. 